everyone welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to go over this question do some lab coding work at the same time i'm going to try to follow the general interview steps while trying to solve this problem so first of all let's uh, read through this question to get an understanding so you're given a data structure of the employee information which includes the employee's unique id their importance value and their direct subordinates ids so for example, employee is a leader of employee two and employee two is a leader of employee three. They have the importance value of 15, 10, and five respectively, then it is represented by like a list of the tuples, something like this. And then note that although employee three is also a subordinate of employee one, but it's not direct report. So now given the employee information of the company and then employee ID, you need to return the total important value of this employee and all of their subordinates. So it's something like um, we try to trade the total of the employee's uh, importance value based on uh, his or her importance value and now uh, the importance value of his or her reports, both uh, direct and uh, non-direct reports. So for the, for example, something like this, for the total of the importance value of employee one, it is going to be 11 because uh, two and three both report to number one. Importance value for one is five, the a five for two, uh, sorry, three to, for two, three for three, in total it's 11. So let's take a look at some notes. So one employee has, a, at most one direct leader and may have several subordinates. So the maximum number of the employee will not exceed 2000. So it seems like not too much of the room to think about edge case at this moment. Uh, let's think about how to solve this problem. So for this problem, uh, pretty clear, not too much of the room to think about uh, the solution. Essentially, we are going to use recursion or DFS uh, to solve this problem. So what we are going to do is, first of all, we are going to have a map. Uh, the key of the map is uh, employee ID. And the value is uh, employee data structure, employee class. And then for this DFS, uh, we start with uh, employee with ID as ID with, uh, within the input. And then we call this DFS. So the reason we have the map is for, uh, for uh, to speed up the lookup. Otherwise, if it is less, then we are going to be very slow regarding the uh, the lookup based on the ID. So the runtime is going to be all of n, n is the number of the employees because we first of all we need to do one pass to pass this list into the map, and also for DFS, uh, at most we are going to go over all of the employees. So that's essentially why it is uh, all of n regarding the runtime. So let's do some uh, coding work on top of this. First of all, I'll just overload uh, the function with uh, get importance. But here we are going to uh, pass a map. Uh, as I said, key is employee ID. Value is the uh, value is the uh, the employee itself. So employee. Is okay. ID. All right. So first of all, uh, we are going to go over this list and try to turn it into a hash map. So we have integer. And this will be a map. This new hash map. Uh, so employee. Go over employee. So employee map uh, dot put the oh, what's that employee dot id and uh, employee self. So that's it. And then the next part is we are going to try to call this uh, overloaded function get importance passing the employee map and uh, the corresponding ID. So, um, so total value as equal to zero. First of all, 
we are going to have um, okay so first of all we are going to get the employee uh, e is equal to uh, well if it is if it doesn't exist then we definitely need to so if employee has that contains key, if it doesn't have the ID, then we are just going to return zero. Otherwise, it means it contains the employee. Then we have the total value. First of all, start with uh, well, we first have the employee here. Employee employee is equal to employees dot get uh, ID and then total value starts with the value of the employee itself uh, so ID and then we go over all of uh, his or her sub, sub, uh, sub uh, all of his or her rep direct reports so for uh, let's say employee report so employee dot be sub ordinance uh, okay, so this is uh, employee the ID. So this will be like an integer. Well, we go through all of the reports and uh, total value plus equal to get importance on top of employees and the report ID. And then finally, we just return total value. So that's pretty much it for this piece of code. Uh, for simplicity, I would just rely on this platform to help us do the debugging and testing. But in real interview, you need to do uh, testing yourself. So let's see this. Uh, output is two, but expect is three. Why is that? So get importance, let's see why. So we have one, two, two, and three. So we are looking for two. So the output is all right. So the out, so the ID importance and subordinates. Oh, I didn't actually. Oh, it's not ID. It's actually the importance. So that's essentially why. Um, get importance. Yep. So that I think this should be. That's a typo. All right. So let's do a submission for this piece of code. All right, so that's it for this uh, coding question. So if you have any question regarding this piece of code or regarding the solution, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.